Seven and a half, get the first half to one for Dara O'Connor! How are we doing? <laughs> Didn't realise my twin was going to be here. <laughs> Getting far too much fucking stage time. <laughs> I won't stand for it, Mike. <laughs> I was supposed to do that in Jeremy Coyle, but... You know, he's been, he's been cancelled, isn't he? So, I said I'd do it in front of all you lovely people. So a little bit about me. I'm, uh, my name is Dara. I'm Irish. I'm 32. Um, I'm the youngest of seven kids. I work in construction and I absolutely fucking love alcohol. <laughs> Fair enough assumption to make. Stereotypical, I know. But So like the other day, I was in the pub. I had about three or four too many pints, as the Irish tend to do. And my mate said to me, Dora. <laughs> yes, that, that is it. That's how English people pronounce my name. Dora, he said. He said, you've had too many, mate. Leave your car at the pub and take the fucking train home. <laughs> so I did. I did. Uh, I'd never actually driven a train before. <laughs> Why the fuck are you always striking, man? <laughs> 69 grand, I'll fucking, I'll choo-choo all day, man. Choo-choo, baby. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, drink's becoming a bit of a problem for me lately. Uh, so I did, I sat down recently and I had a look at myself in the mirror, I had a serious, serious chat with myself and said, Dara, you need to give up the alcohol, man. You're making a fool of yourself. 32 now, man. And then I thought, am I really about to listen to some drunk guy who likes to talk to himself? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Guinness, Arthur Guinness would fucking roll in his grave. <laughs> no, but to, to come back to drinking, I've actually taken up a few different hobbies. So like gardening, I've taken up gardening recently. <laughs> I then realised, gardening's more expensive than fucking drinking. <laughs> and, and it drives you to the drink, which is very, very, very wrong. But no, I took up gardening and realised how expensive it was. So I thought, right, I need to come up with some money-saving tricks. So instead of petrol in my lawnmower, I put vodka. <laughs> the lawn's half cut. <laughs> At least it's halfway there, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, being, being Irish, being the youngest of seven kids, people just assume that I'm Catholic and assume I'm a very religious person. But uh, in fact, like, as, when I was a kid, we never went to church. We went to things like weddings, funerals, christenings, anything with an open bar and lasted three days. <laughs> oh yeah, front and center, baby. Oh, it's like sitting at a funeral going, fucking, he was a lovely young lad. He was taken before his time. Her name was Mary and she was 96. Ah, well. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Where's the bar? Where's the bar, sorry? <laughs> so yeah, like I genuinely think my father kept us away from the Catholic church just, just in case, to protect us, you know, protect us. Just in case the priest didn't fiddle with us. It might be a dampener on our self-confidence, you know? <laughs> why are you sitting there going, why is he, play why is he fiddling with that slow fat kid? <laughs> Why is he getting fingered and I'm not? <laughs> Thought it was cute. You shouldn't be asking that in confession, really, should you? <laughs> so, yeah, no, I actually did work for the Catholic Church a few times, actually. Um, my first job for the Catholic Church was converting people. So they sent me out one day, out to convert people, and I came back at the end of the day with 50 car parts over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> Slapped it down and he, he looked at me. Stealing is a sin. What's a Catholic converter, mate? <laughs> Very different opinions how to make money. <laughs> so, like, like the Catholic Church do, they didn't solve the problem. They just kind of moved me on. Just, yeah, you move on here, right? So then they gave me another a job, which was exercising demons from young children. <laughs> now, I got sacked after the first day. <laughs> Because apparently Iron Man was a bit too challenging for a six-year-old girl. 
fucking I thought she had a demon in her, like, you know. <laughs> so I've actually been excommunicated from the Catholic Church. I'm not, I'm not, allowed, I'm not allowed anywhere near the Catholic Church. So now the only way I can get close to God is when I asphyxiate during masturbation. <laughs> Bit inconvenient. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Gotta get my fix, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, actually, I meant to bring this up earlier. I called my father by his first name. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to beat me, so. <sighs> actually, like, my father, my father, I, I'm the youngest of seven kids, and it, may, it makes you pretty sure you're an, you're an accident, right? My father used to drop a few hints along the way just to make me 100% sure. Like, uh, Dara, did you know that you were conceived on a motorway? And I'm like, no, fucking hell, I didn't, Ned. I did not know that. He goes, yeah, that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice laugh at my pen. <laughs> You're a nice bunch of people, aren't you? So I was actually in court recently. And a guy, a guy was sitting right across from me, right? And he had a tattoo on his neck that said, only God can judge me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Very ironic, my friend, because he got five years for child molestation. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck. Uh, judge, judge Render can judge you as well. 